yo 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 what is going on everyone thank you again for tuning in once again my name is touchline in this video we are continuing with the binturong enclosure we started this build in the previous episode and if you haven't checked that one out yet i will leave a shortcut in the top right corner where it will direct you to the first episode and in that episode we started on yeah so yet the binturong enclosure but more specifically the viewing building and section of the shelter for the binturongs themselves in this one we're going to focus more on the foliage and a couple extra aspects of the enclosure itself but you will see if you check the first episode out that there are a couple other things added to the enclosure itself i didn't really want to get like a third video going i think two was like just enough for the enclosure itself because it's quite small there are not a whole lot of things to see so i didn't really think that a third video would really serve as a extra purpose so to speak to more uh, emphasize like the build itself and all the things that we created so far i think the couple things that have been taken away from in between the first episode and this one is not that big like the main focus is still the enclosure itself the build is still there or at least the uh, the viewing area building and that's like the main focus anyway there's a section added to it the wing that's closest to the wall itself is the section that we've been creating in the first episode and also finished there but there's like an extra section that looks pretty much the same but it's more in the middle of the area there's going to be another entrance for the guests to get on that platform the main entrance is still the square building that's closest to the gatehouse and it's just like another way of the guests to enter the enclosure itself to minimize the congestion and just get an overall flow going for the guests whenever they check out the bin trunks and are ready to leave again i did want to get like one entrance and exit going so that every single guest had to sort of use that and if we would that all the guests would sort of congest in the beginning section and then guests will most likely complain that it's too busy and we want to prevent that so this is our way of fixing that issue Another thing that we talked about in the first episode was the layout for the enclosure itself. We wanted to try to get a climbing area going and then the other half would serve as a sort of a garden. And that is the thing that you will see in this episode. That's also the thing that we're going to finish. One bigger side of this, that's like the furthest away from the guests themselves, is going to be more for the bins rungs, so that they're able to use all the ropes, all the beams, so they can climb about if they want to. And in the beginning section is more a garden where it's a little bit more yeah like calm so to speak there's not a whole lot there and this building that we just or item structure that's the word that we just created is going to be part of the garden so from the aerial view itself you can really see the two uh yeah two halves of the enclosure itself this is going to be the garden and then the thing in the back that half will be uh yeah the climbing frame section so to speak we created this enclosure and build live over on Twitch. So I will leave a link in the description down below, which will redirect you to the Twitch channel. Feel free to stop by if you haven't already. It's a chill stream, answer questions, all the cool stuff is over there. So hopefully I will see you there too. But a portion of the build was more testing and also just waiting until we were able to actually buy some bid drugs. For some reason, it took very long for the game to sort of spawn or made a couple bin trunks available in the market so it took like a 30 minutes to an hour for a couple of bin trunks to pop up in the list so that we were able to buy and those moments are sort of cut out from the video because yeah obviously they don't really work for these type of videos and that's also the reason why there are like bigger portions of the gameplay in this video uh, being sort of taken out of the overall thing more to get a smoother uh, yeah, video going all together but also for the build itself to emphasize that more rather than waiting and testing at the end of the video there will be a little cinematic it's nothing like too crazy just more a couple angles with a camera that's sort of standing still so you are better able to yeah, check the enclosure itself out and yeah i think that is pretty much it there's not a whole lot to it most of the area itself is pretty much finished on this side of the area like the wall on the sides and in the back are sort of forming the barrier walls so that we don't have to actually yeah like use any barriers 
those will serve as a barrier, so that's pretty cool. There's a null barrier inside the Chinese walls, which is pretty cool. Also pretty handy. And um, yeah, like that's pretty much it. So for now, once again, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you all enjoy. Hopefully I will see you in a future live stream over on Twitch. Once again, I will leave a link in the description down below. Otherwise, in the next video over here on YouTube. But for now, stay safe. I will see you all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.